Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to another Game Strategies episode. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to test uh, poplars. And so there's a couple things that I wanted to try and figure out with poplars. Uh, one, I wanted to see if fertilizer makes a difference in yield or not. Uh, and I'm not necessarily going for, like, all three phases or, you know, I'm just going to fertilize some and not some others and see if there's a difference. And then, you know, if there is, then maybe we could look into how much of a difference and, you know, whether the levels matter, stuff like that. And the other thing I wanted to look into, uh, because when we tested grass, remember, the harvest states made a difference. So you got a lot more if you waited for the second ready to harvest state than you did if you harvested in the first. So that got me thinking with poplars, I wonder if there's a difference between the first ready to harvest stage and any subsequent ones. And I was also kind of curious, you know, cause the grass can't wither and the trees don't wither. So do poplars wither. So I was gonna try and test all that at once. I've got, um, you know, the planter over here with a box of poplars on it. Yeah, I got a couple uh, tippers to keep track of my results. And I've got the forage harvester here with the poplar cutting head on it. And I got some fertilizer. And we're over here at field, uh, this is field 21. And I've plowed and cultivated the field so far, but that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the planting. And I'm just gonna, thinking I'm probably just gonna hire a worker to plant the field and that way we'll have some consistent rows down and back and I can like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harvest the whole field for every test but since they are in rows I'll harvest you know like one row at each growth stage and then I'll I'll fertilize half the field so that should give us all the data we need to kind of draw a conclusion. So I'll go ahead and get this guy started. And I'll just hire a worker for that. And this is the, um, the modded planter that goes at 12 miles an hour. So <laughs> hopefully this will go a little bit quicker. All right, so I'm gonna let him work and then I'll just uh, cut the video and pick this back up once the field is fully planted. All right, so I've uh, finished planting my field of poplars here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fertilize about half the field. Just do this far side over here. Not too sure how wide this fertilizer is. Looks good. So it's interesting that the, the hired worker is willing to fertilize this. Because I've noticed, um, you know, on some fields, if the game thinks you're not supposed to fertilize it, it won't let you hire a worker to fertilize it, so. Alright, and I'm actually going to line this up for the next one, because I don't want it to do too much here. We'll come in. About here, probably. Yeah, that'll work. It's about half. Alright, so we got that fertilized. So now I just need to fast forward time until we get to the next growth cycle. Alright, so they've grown one level. Let's uh, check them out on the map here. Okay. I'll go ahead and take another pass at fertilizing this side here. It's interesting that you can see that the ground is already kind of darker where I'm going. So I'm not sure this is doing anything. 
but at the same time it's letting the hired worker do it, so... Uh, maybe there's something to it. Alright, let's check that out. That's odd. It's got a little more here, but it didn't really register it there. Let's go ahead and advance time. Alright, so they've grown to the next level. We're kind of seeing the same thing on the fertilization. Got one here where it's a darker line and not so much there. Let's see if we can make one more pass out of here. Getting a little tall for that JCV there. <laughs> Good thing I have crop destruction turned off. Alright, let's see what that looks like now. Interesting. So it's still one level up here, but two down here at the edge. Or sorry, that's three. That's fully, yeah. And then we are in the last, that looks like the darkest green. So that should be the last of the growing cycles. I want to test uh, real quick before I advance time. I'm curious, there are some crops that allow you to harvest in the last growth cycle. So I was going to try, give that a try here and see if I can harvest it. Uh, corn is a good example. You can actually harvest corn in its last growth cycle. Go ahead and save the game here and then let's see we want to turn on the harvester all right so that's no it's not going to let me harvest it that's fine all right so we'll go ahead and advance time one more time all right there we go now we're in our should be first harvest stage so it's the lightest of the three colors there so let's go ahead and I'm gonna harvest two rows okay so two rows got us 6442 liters of wood chips all right, so we're gonna grab a new trailer here. And now we're gonna compare it to two of the fertilized rows to see if there's a difference. All right, well, that looks like a pretty definitive result. So two rows fertilized got us 11,657 liters of wood chips. That's nearly double. So probably the reason why it wasn't exactly double is because the whole field is plowed. So we got probably got a 10% bonus for having plowed the field. And then we got the, the rest of that difference is made up by the, the fertilizer. So we'll go ahead and hook up to another trailer here. Come around here, hop out. And now we want to advance to the next growth cycle. Let's uh, check our info screen. All right, so we're still in the light yellow. Not quite there yet. Still in the light yellow. Still in the light yellow. Alright, I'm beginning to think that it will never progress to the second or third harvest stage here, no matter how long we fast forward time.
All right, so that makes this part of the test easy. It looks like uh, waiting until the next harvest state isn't even an option. So it won't ever go past this uh, first ready to harvest phase, which is good because that's, that's two of the things that we want to know. Um, the other being obviously it won't wither either. So, oh, of course, I think I have um, plant weathering is off right now. Okay, so let me um, save the game and we'll keep fast forwarding for a little while. All right, so that was another week and it doesn't look like it withered. Let's check the map. So as you can see, stuff has withered on the map, but uh, our poplars are still at the first ready to harvest stage right there. All right, there you have it. Uh, so it's it, it appears that plowing and fertilization do matter to poplars. However, the harvest state doesn't because there's only one and poplars can't wither. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, would you give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.